Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect where last episode guys we got our brand new computer lab area all set up and running there's still lots more stuff we want to add to it but we got to research that advanced stuff and advanced printing and eventually get it all in we also kind of changed the dormitory all well, these rooms over here to dormitories which exploded our population which a hundred prisoners has just arrived at the prison we've got another 57 coming tomorrow to fill up our capacity it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It's pretty crazy right now the amount of prisoners we're gonna be getting. It'd be interesting to see if any of those are gang related. Now, the Great Wall of Sediac is officially uh, complete apart from this little bit of wall over here. So, goodbye. So, it's now done. So, we can change a few things up. Get rid of you. Uh, it's now all the way around the edges, so we can turn this into a no-access zone for, um, what you call it, for prisoners. So we just need to get rid of this little wall here. So materials, it's finally going. Demolish those walls. So long, sucker! And I want to get, like, um, every so often, like, some large jail doors in. Uh, just so it's easier for the kind of snipers, whatever you want to call them, to be able to get to and from these areas. Because it can be a little bit difficult for them, because they got to walk a, a, a long way around. For some reason I can't get in there, but it's okay, there's one there. Right, so we do a couple ever so often. So what are we getting done today then, guys? Well, I want to try and research the sports uh, mod in the bureaucracy. Oh. And try and get set up some basketball courts so we can have the prisoners do some basketball things. I think that'd be pretty cool, right? Alright, let's get a few more jail doors in. Just randomly. So they can, like, you know, shortcut their way over to this area. And eventually, when we expand more on this side, it's gonna be beautiful. Alright, we'll just get one there and it's all good to go. Okay, so let's go to the bureaucracy first then. Let's research sports, which um, hopefully unlocks some pretty cool things. Well, it unlocks the basketball things. That's kind of what it does. Right, is any of the new kind of prisoners gang-related? Now, looking at all these little trucks coming in, none of them are. Uh, every... Oh, hello, we have an enforcer currently in the prison. So he has 100%... Managed to get in via. Well, he's a new, he's a new, he's a new kind of inmate, isn't he? Yeah, he's been. Where's he going to? He's been escorted to a cell. Oh, he's Supermax. Oh, I think he was. Oh, they must have put him in solitary over here for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, logistics, then. Not logistics. Sorry, deployment. We now need to change this to um, staff only. Why can't I select this to be staff only? Can you select these? No access. Why is that? Is that because of the, uh, the, the the gate? No, it can't be that. Unless there's a gap somewhere. And, oh, oh no! There's a gap here, guys. Yeah, I, damn it. Right, I knew there was going to be some an issue somewhere. Oh, I, I didn't see it because it's behind the tower. Right there, we go. Then we can sort that issue out and then turn this one into no access, so nobody can kind of you know from from the supermax area mingle. Ready to cause riots and stuff. See? We got it going down, boy. We got it going down. Righty. Okay, so how is the prison doing? The prison's doing pretty fantastic. Thank you for asking. But now with the additional 100 prisoners in the prison, this means a lot of them are obviously minimum security. So we can get more stuff done. There'll be more jobs available, more prisoners doing programs and stuff. It's going to work out pretty well. Okay then, so once they've got this done, I assume they've got them both done now. Let me find out. Staff only. No, not quite. I think they've like like prepared the land. That's like what they've done for it. Another prison bus coming in. So many prisoners arriving right now. It's crazy. <laughs> right, bringing the jail doors. We just gotta wait because we kind of made them all do jail door stuff. So we just, we just, we just gotta wait now, boy. We gotta wait. 
They need to hurry up and get that in in case anybody tries to make a run for an escape. It's not going to be great, is it? Right, how far are we on that research in then? Only 4% done. Weak! Do you even research, bro? So we need to think about then where we're going to place these basketball courts. So I don't know how big these rooms are going to be. So we've got basketball over here. Which is technically already unlocked. So can I quick build those rooms? I think the sport thing, once it unlocks, we can then have, not the grants, but the programs, I think. Uh, no, we got the basket. Oh, we got the basketball stuff already unlocked anyway. So what does sports do? Um, not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Right, they got that done now. I think they have. Deployment. Yes, they have. Okay, staff only. Oh, it's already set up to be staff only anyway. Nice. No, it ain't. There we go. Now it's staff only. Staff only in this area. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So, because the boundaries are so far away, hopefully no one's going to be smuggling in contraband and stuff like that. Right, quick build them. I'm sure there's a quick build for... Yeah, there is basketball stuff. So I'm thinking, do we set it up up here? It might be a good little spot up here. Uh, basketball league, basic. We have the training. League small. League medium. League large. That's kind of what we want. Oh, would that fit in there perfect? Almost, almost. Uh, training. Do we have a large training? Training basic, small, medium. Yes. Okay. League large, then. I think we should drop to it. We should do... One there. Rotate that one. One there. We'll get some foundations down. To cover up that side there. Some foundations down here. Perfect. And then back to the quick build. What training facility can we get in? So if I rotated this, it kind of slightly falls short a little bit. A small one falls short too. Basic training. Now if I got that in there, there is still room left over, but not enough. That goes there. Yeah, there's a small gap there. So... There's going to be a slight difference in... No, actually, no, because that could create a two-door corridor going up by the side. So this could also work out very well. So foundations, building. We'll, like, bring that up to the same level. Okay, maybe we won't, guys. Maybe we won't. Ever thought about that? <laughs> right, bam. There we go. So, we'll let them get that done. There's still quite a lot that needs to get done there. So maybe I demolish this wall. Demolish the wall. Demolish the wall. There we go. So they can walk to it a little bit easier. Get stuff done. I'm quite excited to get this whole little basketball section set up. We can start our own little basketball league. Compete with other prisons. And become the best. NBA is NBA, right? National Basketball Association or League NBL. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But hopefully we can, we can be like LeBron. That's the only basketball player I know. <laughs> oh, you damn fool, Seniac. You damn fool. Right, it's all going good then. It's all going Gucci bait while they get all that in. It's currently eat time, so they're tearing through all their meals right now. Delicioso. Uh, I want to wait till it's work time, because with the brand new prisoners in, the extra 100 that we've now got, I want to see where they, or what they kind of do, what they're going to be getting up to. So when does work start again in the regime? 
Oh, okay, we completely passed the Okay, we gotta wait till tomorrow now. Damn. D damn, boy. That's not fair, is it? We don't get to see anybody working. Sad times. Right. Okay. So I'm thinking then, we need to drop material, like, do more materials in various other spots because they're walking very, very slow right now. So if I made this road, well, this path up here be too thick, like that, and that goes to there. We could then drop some grass here. Kind of stylize the rest of this area. There is a fence there we need to get rid of too. Right, there's all beautiful grass there. Get the grass running down here. Gonna make the front of the prison look pretty nice, boys. There we go, a little bit of concrete. A little bit of grass there. Good stuff. Right, we let them get all that in. It'll take them a while. It'll take them a while. Right, how are these new buildings doing? They're doing good. <laughs> it's just going to, again, take some time to get them all thrown in. But it's good. We're making good progress. Right. It's, it's now yard and free time for various prisoners. It's yard for the Supermax, which they're now on their way over there. I've noticed as well all the... Uh, oh, dear God. What happened over here? Why did they need pipes? Did something go down and nobody told us? I think there must have been a fire. But, isn't, but if you notice now, there's no... Yeah, there's a fire because you can see like... Oh, there's actual fire right now. Oh dear God! Can um right control and left click make high priority because we need to kind of put that fire out, guys. You know, or it's gonna spread, and then we've got some big issues. Then we got some big issues. All right, this is urgent, guys. Can you get this? Um, can somebody, you know? Sort this out. Apparently it's dangerous. It's not that dangerous. Right, he's over there. What's he doing? Right, we might have to call the fire brigade him. Emergencies. Fire and drink. Because they don't seem to want to put the fire out themselves. So we'll do it. There we go. So fireman. Get over here. Put this fire out, please, because my employees, they're scared of a little bit of flames. But I ain't surprised. <laughs> There's me making them work in, like, really bad work conditions. <laughs> There's fire. <laughs> Damn it, Sadie, you fool. So the fire has clearly put the pipes out. So let's try and, like, rectify this or, like, kind of future-proof this situation. Um, by doing like something like this. So there's always a multiple different type of connection to these water pipes. So if one route is like demolished, like how it just was there, there's always another route to take its place. Alright, get this back in. Alright, we can now dismiss the fire engine. Get out of here, silly boy! But yeah, notice there's no other boxes, because all the kitchens are now taking all the food. Look at their hose pipes, man. Damn. Leaving a big poo stain through the prison. Right, I had to get up over here then. So we're getting somewhere. We're still, still waiting. Still foundations. Got to be placed down. We're getting there. We got to then put the flooring down as well to make it look like an actual like basketball court. Damn, it's going to be so dope. So dope. Can't wait to get that in. Right, it's going to yard time. How are they doing over here? Right, they're all hooked up with water. What well, seems to be this one's problem? Oh, is that one disconnected too? Small pipe. There we go. Beautiful. I heard foundation noises, so we we got something in up here. Yes, we have. <clears throat> right, we're going to need utilities too to give these guys some power. Up. 
keep the power running through. Nice. And again, it's now become the waiting game of all waiting games as we wait to get more stuff in. I can't wait, man. I see him playing basketball, slam dunking, doing some alley oops and whatever other basketball phrases there is that I don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised I know those too. I don't know if alley oop is one. I don't know anymore. What is real life, guys? What is real life? Right, eat time, they're eating again, they're well fed, they're getting free dinners a day, or free meals, which, I mean, that's what you should get in normal life, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we're, we're, we're treating them nicely, it costs us more money to give them, but that, that's all, all down to me trying to tear through the boxes that we have of food left over, because we, we do have a lot, we do have a lot. So, how many workers we got in the jeans factory? We've got one lone dude, let's get a couple more in. So we can, because our, our money is now starting to come down a little bit. We've spent quite a bit, so we kind of need to turn it around. So a tailor is what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten tailors. Damn. We're going to be exporting so much good stuff now. I can't wait. Right, these workers doing anything right now? They ain't doing nothing. Nothing in this prison. What? What seems to be their issue? I don't know. I don't know what their issue is. Right, sleep time then. So hopefully everyone can settle down now. And uh, our workers can focus on getting stuff done in the prison. Our cleaners can focus on cleaning the prison. Getting all ready for a brand new day tomorrow. I just want to see the work when when they start working, like where these new prisoners like decide to go. That's all I want to know, guys. That's all I want to know. Oh, we got this area now done. So wait, mate. We now just gotta wait them to get the finishing touches all in, get all the electricity kind of grid set up. Oh dear! I broken something. Okay, right. What got broken? Right, this one got overloaded. Quite badly. So was it at his max capacity then? Is that where it was? Right, switch on. Yeah, it's at its max capacity. Which is not great. Not great at all. So let's try and kill something on this grid. So dismantle utility. We are going to get rid of that connection there. That connection there. And those connections there. And we'll power this kind of right hand corner off this one. But I just need them to disconnect themselves from that. So we've disconnected here. We then need to disconnect over here. These kind of four little spots. Alright. And then once that is done. The electricity should die. Why is it? There we go. Yeah. I'd say why is it still alive in that area? And then we'll bring this out, and we'll connect it there. And then we're going to power that side there. So note to self, we're at max capacity with this power station, pretty much. So we just got to play the waiting game to get everything back up and running again. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's sleep time anyway, so it's not affecting the prisoners. They need the lights to be turned out. <laughs> right, get away for our workers now to get this whole little kind of um, electricity section set up. Right, the bulk of the workers are now coming to place it all in, as we can now see. Boy. And then we can see what work is left and get, well, needs to be getting I can't even English right now we can then see what work needs to be done there we go uh, and what's left over okay then so is there a grant for the basketball sports 
So there we go. Uh, buy a pool, apparently. Is that a thing? Can we buy a pool? We can have a pool in here? Is that a thing? I didn't even know. Right, what about the basketball stuff? Is there anything for the basketball? I'm starting to think there isn't. Small is beautiful, no. Um, what's his sports, sir? Educate a lifeguard who can save... Uh, who can save... Safe drowning prisoners. You mean save drowning prisoners? <laughs> oh my dear God. I didn't... Know okay, so that's what sport unlocks. It unlocks a swimming pool. Which, apparently you can buy a pool. I didn't know that was a thing. But how far are we getting with these electricity grids? Why are they so slow at getting stuff done in? Or placed in? How many workers do I have? A lot. We're gonna sack a load. We've got so many workers and it's not needed. Because nothing gets done. Right, bring it down to about 50. There we go. Bang on 50. 50 workers. And hopefully they can focus on getting actual stuff done in the prison rather than we having to spam wait for everybody to arrive. Right. These two bits need to be placed in. Oh, there's one more there as well. So there's three electrical wire grids need to be get added in. So today, mate, please. Right, one more after... Uh, no, wait, where are you taking that one? Boy. Damn it, man. Oh, there's still bits and bobs up here they need to get added in. Okay, fair enough. Right, we're pr prioritizing this. Get them done. We've been waiting hours, and we're still no powers. Right, they're going to get it done now? Yeah, there's a dude rolling up. Is he for this one? No, someone else is coming a different way for that one. He's for this one. Right, where's the person for this one then? Okay, they're on their way. They're shuffling. Shuffling their booties over here. And then we can uh, see where we are with this. Also, 31 prisoners arriving in the morning. Nice. Right, where's the dude for this one then? Is there? Oh, he's walking. Of course he is. He's walking super duper slow. Of course he is. Do we expect anything different? We gotta wait forever. Well, that's kind of what it feels like. Damn, boy. Right. You'll get in eventually then. I feel like we need to hire more snipers as well. Because we've only got. Yeah, we've only got eight snipers. And of course, we've got... Um, quite a few sniper towers. So that is their 60 snipers just, like, hired. For all the towers that we have. Oh, no wonder he's going slow. I've got it in, like, play mode. Right. <laughs> Get that electrical wire in. Finally, we're now going to be all up and running in this area. I hope. <gasps> dum, dum, dum. After all that, there was one... One piece not connected. Priority, boy. Priority. Right, who's doing this one? This dude. Who... Two is going to... Where is he going? Uh, I think he's going to pick up the, the wire. Right, okay, so he's got that. He's going to be on the way soon then, so I can already see straight away that there's bits of wall missing. That we are going to need to get in. Well, objects in them. You can see there's need for lights down the corridors. That will throw it. So give the workers something else to do as well. Right, where's that dude? Here he is. Here he is. Finally, we can get the power source 
connected. It only took like a million hours to get it done. But now we can breathe easy, knowing that this side of the prison will have the power it craves. There we go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, apparently not, because now it's also not connected up here. Great, Scott. Right, at least this connection's inside the prison. And how far is he coming to get it done? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. He comes from outside the prison. Yeah, because that's how the game works. God damn it. Right, anyway, we're getting the extra lights and that are going to be powered. We also need to get in some of these concrete tiles down the corridors. There we go. We can now see it is bright. We need the basketball flooring. Throw that down. We've got to zone these rooms as well. Get all that in. I think maybe it is worth like bringing back some workers because <laughs> this is pretty weak at the minute. Maybe I shouldn't have like reduced it down to fifty. Extra ten in that room. Extra ten there. Extra ten there. Let's see what damage they do. Oh, we got one death. Oh no, that's not good. <coughs> Let's continue building the basketball court anyway. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, isn't it? Right, so what's this pool stuff then? Is it like, is it actually called a swimming pool? Um, nothing inside, no. Uh, computer classroom. Oh, there's a difference between a computer classroom and a lab. Wow. Uh, oh, it's, it's the gym, isn't it? I think, yeah, it's the gym. That's what they're talking about. The gym. Nice. Right, there's a lot to get thrown in up here then. So let's kind of zone these rooms then. So basketball league. We can drop these two in. Basketball training. Drop you in there. So just give them time to sort themselves out. Got a lot of flooring going down in various spots here. There we go. So you can now go to the programs then. And where is it? Here we go. So we've got um, Prison Basketball League, uh, one hour. We should do some long ones. Um, prison Basketball League, three hours. Um, basketball Training, three hours. Should we do all of them or is that too many? Well, we can do another league one. We can do like a like a one hour one because we have two rooms for it. So we have no teachers. Do we have to hire the teachers? Yeah, basketball trainer. So one, two, three. I take it they need their own offices. Have they taken offices down here? Basketball trainer. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna like fire staff. One of them psychologist things, so we got like a, another basketball trainer in. Right, sack him so that the trainer can have one. And then, where is it? Programs. Right, they say no teacher. Let me get rid of this one. Then the, the league. There we go. Perfect. That's now all set up. We, we can have two three hour ones because, you know, we got two rooms for it. <clears throat> this actually going to be pretty cool. The sequel will take place. So it's just one of those things. We just got to wait now. Oh, it's work time. Hold on. It's work time. I want to see. Uh, no. Is it logistics? Prison labor? Where they were working right now. So we've got some in laundry in the mail room. Uh, loading the shop there, laundry, cleaning cupboard, uh, laundry up here, shop there, loaded cleaning cupboard, jobs currently going at the moment. 
a lot of the prisoners need to pass like certain courses to work in some of the rooms which of course of course we've only just had like an extra hundred and something prisoners arrive in the prison and it's going to take a few days for them to, for to pass for them to pass any of the classes so obviously we gotta wait there but i wonder um when we get to see them do any of the basketball stuff so where's the basketball so it takes place between 6 a.m and 9 a.m what are they currently doing at that time in the regime they're locking up and eating right we need to might need to reschedule that program right let's edit the schedule so where is the basketball one? Prison basketball. Oh. Now if I place it there, there, and there. Right, it's currently okay, it's currently time for basketball as well, so you might see them now arrive. Which is gonna be kind of cool. Right, the teachers or well, one teacher's arrived at the class. Are prisoners now making their way over? I think they're going to be very soon. Yeah, they're making their way over right now. I don't think they actually physically play basketball. <clears throat> I think I think they just kind of stand there in the room, acting like they do. But they're all coming. I think they just stand there chilling. That's kind of what they do. That's their thing. So we've got some training happening right now. Got some basketball league on the go. Is um is this a a need for sports? Or will it fall under like ex it falls under exercise, doesn't it? I assume it would. Maybe a little bit of recreation as well, you just never know. But this could go very well. So yeah, I don't feel like they actually do physically play basketball. Because obviously, it is a mod. And you have to be like, like you know, whoever made the mod will have to kind of really hard code this to do that. But this is as good as you're going to actually physically get a basketball in the prison. So it is what it is. I want to take a quick little screenshot quickly. Come on, boy. Take a nice little screenie. Boom! Right, I got a beautiful screenie there, guys. Uh, all right, yeah, sweet. Okay, so logistics are going with the jobs. <clears throat> Have they moved on to different jobs just yet? We've got two in the workshop at the moment. There is lots of jobs available. And the, the majority of them choose jobs that are not, you know, have to pass anything. Which is good because a lot of them do the cleaning, which means we have a, a cleaner prison. Look at how cleaners we've got. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? So they can clean the prison. That's one less job for us. Keeps everything all nice and smart as well. It's amazing. It is amazing. But we got the basketball courts now in. Which looks pretty good in the prison. So now that I realise the sports mod kind of researched us and got us the gym where we can build a swim pool, maybe we'll look at getting that in for next episode. That'd be kind of dope, wouldn't it? So I think we're going to end it for here, guys, anyway. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. <laughs>